Where I grew up, the words Millennium Force, Raptor, Mean Streak, Mantis, Magnum, Demon Drop, and Power Tower were thrown around every spring and summer. All of them give you the thrilling sensation of plummeting to your death. But why did we ride all those rides? Attention oncoming riders, thanks for watching D News today. I'm Trace. Roller coasters are the crown jewel of amusement parks. There are whole industries vying for the title of tallest, fastest, steepest, loopest, largest, or badassest coaster around. Its history can be traced back to 1750. An ice slide was constructed in St. Petersburg, Russia to provide thrills for sledders. In 1804, a visiting Frenchman copied the idea, moved it to Paris, and used rails and wheels instead of sleds, and boom, the roller coaster slid into the world's consciousness. Today, there are over 3,600 coasters on the planet, according to the Roller Coaster Database, and the 418-foot King Dakka at Six Flags in Jackson, New Jersey is arguably, please go argue in the comments, the best roller coaster on Earth. Although Julia swears that the Millennium Force at Cedar Point is way better. There's a lot of physics involved with designing a coaster. Potential energy on the hills, kinetic energy on the drops, and acceleration, g-forces, apparent weight, and so on. And in the end, you don't really need to grasp physics at all to build a good coaster. You need to understand physiology. Coasters are basically trains that use those forces to manipulate your inner ear, your internal organs, and your other senses to mess with your brain chemistry. These drops, jerks, and free-floating gravity trips are meant to give you a whiff of fear without making you feel in any actual danger. It's the same kind of fear that you get from haunted houses and extreme sports activities like skydiving. Some people are natural thrill seekers. They get a high from the brain chemicals released when they encounter the fight or flight response. Deep inside of our heads, our ancient brains are still there. And when our ancient brains believe there's a danger to our body, even if it isn't a real danger, our amygdala triggers, releasing a host of chemicals to prep our bodies to literally fight for our lives for escape, i.e. fight or flight. As the brain is constantly sucking in information, it can assess risk and flip this response on in an instant. That causes a release of dopamine, serotonin, adrenaline, and oxytocin to help hone the mind, focus the senses, and prepare the body for action. Those brain chemicals really mess with your head, literally. Then, when no action comes, the roller coaster ends and you're left with the aftermath of all those chemicals surging through your body. Your hands are shaking, you're sweating, and you probably have a feeling of euphoria. Some of you might have noticed oxytocin slipped in there with a fairly predictable cocktail of other brain chemicals. When the body is scared, we release oxytocin. Some people call it the love hormone, but it's more accurately a bonding hormone. It helps specific memories stick in our head, like which things are dangerous or which people help in times of high stress. When we come down from that fear high, like after a roller coaster ride, we perceive all of these things and end up laughing from the euphoria because there was no actual danger and feeling closer with those who experienced it with us. So that's why we like riding rides. How do you feel about roller coasters though, or amusement parks in general? Check out this video by our sister network Seeker Stories about a man in Italy who loves them so much he built one on his own. Io penso e reputo di essere una delle poche persone al mondo che possono dire di aver scelto, vissuto e fatto ciò che mi passa per la mente. Thanks for watching D News. Make sure you subscribe so you get all of our videos every day and we will see you next time.